all of our children have December birthdays. So it was really kind of a cool path to look at our anticipation of the birth of our child or children as the case may be, uh, to kind of walk that and really feel kind of parallel to Christ's birth. Mary is definitely someone that I look to in the Christmas season and in my life as someone who is very selfless and humble and who um, obeyed God in just amazing ways. And I think it's um, neat to look to her and especially in challenging times. Certainly a huge challenge recently has been uh, really a three year battle with cancer. When I think about Mary's yes to God and that unknowing, that just that blind faith, if you will, it's the same for any of us, that we all have to just say, it's all yours, God, and I recognize that I'm not the one in control, and you've given me this gift of life, and I'm just an instrument. So I think that, yeah, 2,000 years ago, Mary started that trend, and it's what we have to keep doing as faithful Catholics. During this Christmas season, draw near and encounter our infant Lord born King of Angels. He came to show us God's love. Let us follow Him in that path and strive to love Him in return. Decorating for Christmas has been part of our Advent um, preparations is to just um, pull out our Christmas decorations and pull out our nativity set. And I think um, seeing those objects in our house and seeing the kids excited when we plug the lights in or when we um, look at our nativity set and explain what is going on has been really a fun way to teach our kids about Christmas, but also to be a daily reminder to see something every day in our home that's a little different has helped us to remember uh, what is coming and why we're getting ready for Christmas. You know, it sounds simple to say, but without Christ, there wouldn't be Christmas. I mean, this is, this is our Savior coming into the world. And I look at this Christmas season as just joyful and, and a tremendous amount of gratitude that I'm sitting here today cancer-free, Jesus was like us, and I think that that helps me too, knowing that Jesus was human and, and experienced the same kind of things that I, that I have in life. Um, and so knowing that gives me faith and strengthens my faith. I hope and pray that this season is an opportunity to increase your faith and belief in Jesus Christ as the way to arrive definitively at salvation. On behalf of the Diocese of Madison, a very merry and blessed Christmas to you and your families.